gamers, it's Softkitty99 and today we're back at the quality upgrade house and we're going to be continuing, we can either go up or down from here so on this entrance level floor we have our audio visual room, our open plan kitchen living room and a little balcony so here you've got your kitchen dining room, living room, open family space where we want to gather and hang out And the cabin looks beautifully rustic and absolutely gorgeous for the countryside, doesn't it? So we need to do a little bit of work here on this landing. We want that grotesque um, wooden panelling on the floor again. So that's going throughout, so we're keeping everything very consistent with the flooring. We've already given this little area a bit of a clean at the end of the last episode. So we want the Anion interior door. We're going to stick with the coarse dark oak throughout the house. So let's pop that door in. And it looks like we need some um, like items for like hang hanging coats and things. So we're quite close to the entryway doorway, so they're just going to stick all the coats and things here out of sight on this little landing area. So we're using that beautiful new twine lampshade here. We're using the slight golden accent on the big switches throughout the house. And then the hanger, um, oh, let's have a look. So we could go light to keep it kind of fresh, or we could go with the gold to kind of bring out that accent from the light switch. So I think that's what we might do there. So we, yeah, I think that looks quite nice. Uh, and we want a second one of those, right. So we went for the gold, yeah, gold, many hanger in the goal and if we can just line that up actually might want to move that just a little bit closer into the corner and then let's grab the second one everything has to be perfect see oh we want three we don't want two we want three yeah, that's interesting i thought we wanted one we actually wanted three i don't seem to be reading very well at the moment do i come on wake up kitty you need to read oh look it's all blocked off oh let's open that up Oh, we're going to be putting in patio doors. That looks like patio door. Oh, look, it's a big open plan basement. And we're going to be changing the layout a lot here. Time to build lots of walls. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me see what else it wants me to do with any of the rooms until we've built the walls. It doesn't look like it wants me to remove this little alcove here. So maybe we're using it as a cubby hole storage or something. This looks kind of weird, doesn't it? The little windows kind of look like eyes, especially with the white outline on it. I think what we're going to have to do is sell the windows and put in patio doors, maybe, from the shape. But I think the best thing to do is to start with putting in these extra walls. And I really like how that they've left the like grey lines on the floor for where the walls need to go. Because it makes it much easier than trying to look on the mini-map. So I really do appreciate that little feature there where you've added the, the grey lines developers because it makes these changes much simpler to see. It's much easier to make sure you know you're putting it in the right place. So many times I've tried to put in the lines and they've been like one block in the wrong direction somewhere. From just mini markers. This is much better. So we're actually changing this an awful lot, aren't we? So what are we doing? We're putting in... So we've got this big open plan basement and I think we're making it into five different rooms. I've missed one. Even with the markers, I've missed one somewhere. We'll have to come back once we've got to the end. But yeah, it looks like we're making five rooms. So one of them will be kind of a bit of a corridor-y thing, won't it? And then we'll have four rooms off the corridor. We'll see what the plan is um, once we've done that. Alternatively, if you were buying this house for yourself, you could leave it completely open plan down here and kind of make this like a big um, animal section. Especially if you're interested in the ones that come in the big pens and things. You could have lots of different animals down here, couldn't you? 
and then for dogs and cats and things you could open um, patio doors out onto the balcony to let them roam as well. So there's lots of, lots of interesting ways to use utilise this house with the pet package. Oh, we're not going to have a a door out onto the corridor area on this particular one. So could this be a bathroom bedroom? Ooh, I'll just sweep bathroom. Ooh, maybe. As soon as we've got the walls up, it'll tell us what the room's going to be, won't it? Instead of me speculating. Uh, it might not show me until I've done all of the walls because it's it's insisting that I complete the walls, right? So we want an upper section. Ooh, it's still really hard to see, look, because the, the walls are the same colour as the little bit that's got to go above the door sections. <laughs> still kind of hard to see sometimes. There we go. Right, so that's that one done. So we need a few more lintel pieces above the door here. Oh, is that all of my uh, walls? That might be all of my walls. Right, so can we see... No, it's not showing me what that wants to be. Oh, we still need to build some walls here. Look, we've got to cut this section off here. So we've got another grey section to follow along here. But we're getting there, look, we're at 38 out of 45 and 4 out of 8. So 4, four out of 8. Oh, so it's only counting from this particular room now. Okay. But I think this is the last section of the walls once we do this bit, and then we'll be able to see what the rooms are. Right, so we want the upper wall lintel bits. Two more. And if I can line that up, line it up, kitty. There we go. And we are done! Right, so now... Yeah, now we're getting the things that we want to... Yeah, so sell the Elijah windows. That's what we thought. See, they take the, out the little... Looked like little eyes, didn't they? Bless. <laughs> oh yes, Gracia doors, great big beautiful patio doors. Yeah, we're going to go kind of go with the goldy finish, I think. Line that up to the section that it's marked in. Whap with the hammer. We need to be a bit closer. Whap with the hammer and pop in my door, and there we are out onto the beautiful balcony. Ta da! Oh, look at them views. Wow. Oh gosh, can you imagine this? This is your bedroom and you walk out through the door straight onto the balcony in the morning and take a look out there. Out. Oh, beautiful. Ah, beautiful. Right, so floor first. Don't forget the doorways. And the space into the patio door. That's a darker wood finish now that we're going for down here. Fresh morning paint. So that's kind of a sort of palish bluey grey colour isn't it yeah by the looks of it so let's pop some of that on the wall oh yeah pale sort of bluey grey a slightly stormy morning colour dusk and dawn or stormy stormy morning skies yeah <laughs> we're getting a bit poetic this morning aren't we Whoa, hey. <laughs> So we're just doing the whole room in one colour. As you know, that's, that's not something I tend to do. I tend to put like a feature wall or a, an accent colour on a different wall just to kind of break it up a little bit. Down here, I could also be tempted to maybe leave like this outer wall with, with the stone covering on it, just as an accent thing. Kind of bring the exterior of the house into the interior and just give you that feature wall that way. but the person that bought the house would prefer it to just be one colour. Right, go across the top. And then that just leaves us with one wall, I think. Right, a bit more paint. Oops, move that too fast. A little bit slower, we actually want the paint to apply to the wall, not just to put a little bit of a shimmer on the top. <laughs> Full colour, please. And 
we're going to need to refill the roller one more time to finish it off. Perfection! Right, do we need to go around the edges? We probably don't need to go around the edges because of the door placement. But, in case you don't put the, win the doors in exactly the right spot, it's sometimes it's nice to just go around the edges. Right, so what's left of the paint? Which, there's not a lot, so a medium-sized pot was the right size for this room. But if you made it any bigger, you would need uh, a bigger pot of paint. Are we using the white doors downstairs? Okay. So we're not going to have the same doors throughout everywhere. So let's pop that in very carefully, make sure it's all lined up. And another white one. Yeah, I'm going to put that onto the... I assume that that's going to be a bathroom door. Let's put them in the same orientation. Lovely. Let's open those back up so we've got free access in and out. It does definitely look like a, a bathroom with an ensuite. So it looks like down here we're going to have two bathrooms with ensuite and a small corridor entranceway. Well, we're using these like old rectangular lamps. I, I kind of, I, I hate to say it, but I kind of see those as garage ceiling lamps. I don't see them as, as lamps for inside. So I definitely wouldn't have picked those, but that's fine. They, they do the job perfectly fine. And as far as we're concerned, let's say that they're energy saving lamps. <laughs> I don't know. So the double bed warmy. I really like this bed. This is one of my favourites of the old style beds from earlier in the game. This, is, this was one of the ones I used pretty, pretty much all the time. Um, I actually am not sure what colour we should go for wood is with this one. I kind of want a bit of a contrast to the floor, to be honest. So we could go with lily or we could go with grey. I think we go with grey because of the colour of the walls. We could put it on that end wall or we could turn it around here so it's facing the patio doors, which I think is going to be the best orientation for this. Let's make sure that we're putting it in the centre of that little wall there. And that will then leave space for the bedside tables at the side, which are actually the little simple rustic country fired bedside tables. They are quite pretty those and they, they do really fit the country vibe. So what wall are we using the coral wall lamps? We're not using the freestanding lamps for on top of the the little bedside tables. We're actually going to put them above. So if we go for the light grey shade, I think, yeah. And then we put them above so that you can use them as reading lamps. So they're not too high up. And you can reach them from the bed so you don't have to get back up again. Oh, we want to add an electrical outlet. Let's put that near there so that you can... And then over here somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, look, they want to start a TV. That's interesting. Oh, the, the furry carpet. I do quite like this. That's the new furry carpet. We want two. Let's put one either side of the bed. So you've got something warm to put your feet on in the morning before you grab your slippers. Yeah, so that's a standing TV. So we're going to have to put that on something. So what do you want us to stand it on? The woody double chest of drawers, I think. So we want to match the colour. What else have we got? Mirror. Uh, okay. Just want to make sure I know what else we've got to fit in the room. Because this is lots of pieces of big furniture I want to kind of pre-plan. So there's a woody drawers. So we want to match the colours up. We're going for the American Elm and the lights. Do we go lights or cream? Cream. Let's go cream. And fixtures and fittings. And I think, hmm, so if we're going to put the TV on that, you need to be able to see it from the bed. So the only place it can go is here. So we're going to have to move that light, um, not light switch, the outlet socket that I've just put there. That will need to go on this other wall over here, far enough forward to not be blocked by the woody chest of drawers. Right, it's kept my setting, so let's pop that there. And then the TV can stand on top of that, so you can see it from the bed. Lovely. Right. The wardrobe Vera. Now, will that tuck in on this wall here in this corner? Is that a big enough space to put that? Yes, I think that will work fine. You can still get through get to that side of the bed. Tassano standing mirror. American Elm or white? No, I'll stick with American Elm I think throughout. That's going to need to go 
Over here? Yeah, there. I think that's going to be the best place for that. Now we need to stick in a vertical radiator. So we could put it over here, or you could put it on the same wall as the mirror. They're really the only two places for it to go, I think. Let's make it a golden... A gold metal or cream? Let's make it cream. And then attach that to the wall. Having the vertical radiator does give you the chance to put radiators in different places to the original style of um, traditional squat radiators. And the geometric picture above the bed. And what else have we got? Air conditioning. Right, so we'll put that above the patio door. Then mount the air conditioner on the top here. Attach the brackets. Nice and firm. We don't want that to fall on anybody's head. Don't want to get sued. <laughs> Why has the goat? Come on. One of them hasn't gone in properly. Which one? There we go. Right, you move. Thank you. That's better. The other one's on that side. And fasten. Safety first for the electrics. Make sure everything's attached properly. Tighten everything. Cover it all up. Beautiful. We just want to add a clock. That's the ranch wall clock, the wooden one, and I think over here next to the mirror is going to be ideal. And there we go. First room downstairs. Ta-da! Beautiful, beautiful bedroom. I don't think we're going to have time to finish the entirety of the downstairs today. But let's see if we can do the bathroom at least that's attached here. So, we kind of went for American Elm, grey and cream fixtures and fittings in here, didn't we? So, if we're given any choice, we might want to stick with that, but I assume that most of it's going to be chosen for us. So let's see. So we want the circular ceiling lamps. We'll go for the white in here because it's a bathroom. We kind of want to be clean lines and things, don't we? Look clean and beautiful. Gold edge on the lamp switch to keep in line with everything else we've used throughout the house. So we have the arabesque tile for the floor. So we're going terracotta -y. terracotta -y Latin America feel. Turn the door out so we can uh, not bump into it every time we move. Ceramic tiles are grey. Grey squares. And Louison square white tile. Oh wait, no. Oh, I thought I could pick which one I did which with. I think it wants the majority of the grey and I've gone and bought more of the loose on because I prefer the loose on. I was going to make it one grey square as your feature wall and then do the other three in the loose on but the uh, they actually have numbers of tiles on the counter here so unfortunately they want it the other way around to what I would have chosen so I think I might have overbought the loose on tiles by a full packet. <laughs> That's a shame but let's be honest, we're doing this job for the clients, not for me. So my taste does not influence what's being done. It's the clients' the wishes that need to be done. So we will put these, the Lewis on, on the two end walls, I think, because of the numbers that we're being asked to do. We're only being asked to do 16 of these. So I think the two end walls will probably do it. Yes, it will. Right, so let's sell what's left of those. Minor mistake, it'll be fine. We need some more of these. We're going to need at least two stacks, I think. So finish off this wall and then do the opposite wall. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that tile. I just think it's very generic, used in a lot of like real life situations as well. So I I tend not to use things like that because I think it's been overdone in real life so I don't really want to overdo it in the game so yeah 
just not to my taste. There we go. Five more to meet our requirements. I think it's going to be exactly... Yeah, that's the exact number of tiles in the entire room for to meet the requirements that we were given. Right, so let's sell what we've got left. Ping, ping, ping. There we go. So we want a shower and a bathtub. Okay, the room's not huge, but they want both. Okay. So we have to think carefully about how we're going to fit that in. I think the shower left to go in the corner we're kind of looking at now and the bathtub on this end wall over here to fit everything in. So let's unscrew the fittings here so we can pop in the bathtub. Right, have they chosen as a specific bathtub? Yes, the mountable bathtub. So it's one of those like oblong ones. And it is I think it's a little bit smaller than the space that we've got. There we go. Pipes. There we go. So you would kind of surround it in to, to fill the gaps at the edges, wouldn't you, if you were doing that in real life? Because it's just that tiny bit shorter than the space you've got. So you kind of build a little shelf at, at one end, probably, to, or at both sides, depending on how you want to do it. Probably at one end, where you could keep toiletries and stuff so, to fill in the gaps. And then you'd build up completely around it, wouldn't you? And then the shower in this corner, that makes most sense. And then it comes out. And then you've still got space in between for your toilet and sink, as long as they don't want two sinks, that might be a little bit of a tough fit. I don't want the corner, edu mountable corner shower. That actually is a, a good choice because of the, the shape of the room. That makes everything a little bit more streamlined and fit beautifully. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll try and finish off this bathroom in today's episode. And then I think we may come back for the next episode to finish off the rest of this ground floor. So I'm assuming it's another bedroom, an ensuite, and then we've got the corridor area and then that little space underneath the stairs, like a closet or cupboard or something there. Right, so if we line this up carefully so it's as close to the wall as possible so it doesn't stick out away from the wall because we've had that with a little gap before a couple of times. The Damalia toilets is one of those new ones, that slightly older fashioned look. I really like it, I think it's very pretty. Let's assemble that and then we should have plenty of space to add the sink in between the shower and the toilet. As long as they're only asking for one sink. If we're asking for two, we might have a little bit more problem fitting everything in. And we want a toilet holder. That's the, the little simple one that we use a lot. Yeah, let's pop that there. And what else we got? Sink plumbing. Yeah, it's only asking for one. That's beautiful. I should have plenty of space to add that in here. And then a few little fixtures and things to add around. The old fashioned sink. Put it in white, because I think most things are white in here, so let's go white. Let's assemble everything. Oh, we've got water filling. Let's get that stopped as quickly as we can. There we go. Pipes and u bends. Fit everything in, have a quick clean. Clean, clean. Clean, 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 clean. Beautiful. Very nice. The Cirella hanging mirror. Let's go for white and cream, shall we? And white wood, yeah. Let's make sure that's lined up with the sink. And then we want some towels. The arson hanger with light coloured towel will go white and white. Let's put that between the shower and the sink. Nice. Alright, we've got radiator plumbing and a laundry basket. So we'll go with the, the pale 
down wood one, shall we? Where shall I put you? If we put you close to the bath, the dirty clothes to go in just as you try to jump in the bath or shower. And that then leaves the space to add the towel radiator next to it. And that will then be kind of central to the size of the bathroom, won't it? To spread the heat out from it. So that you're nice and toasty warm when you're using the facilities and getting clean. I think we're pretty much done then. One more towel rail, the mantilli hanger with patterned towels. So shall we go for, um, which one shall we put on the top? Lines, crossy, and floral shoots, I think. And we'll go for the white rails, and we'll pop that above the bath. Beautiful. So that's this bathroom and ensuite completed. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From Soft Kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming!